بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين This is the second part of section uh, 7.4 about integration of rational functions by partial fractions We said that if we have a partial fraction if we have a rational function we have to find out whether it's proper or not proper if it's not proper means uh, the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator we have to use long division in case if it's a proper rational function we need to factor the denominator if the denominator is factored into distinct linear factors we can write it like this a over the first linear factor plus b over the second linear factor and so on if the denominator can be factored uh, and there are repeated linear factors so for example x minus 1 to the power 3 or x to the power 3 so we make a fraction for each linear factor for x for x power 2 for x minus 1 x minus 1 square x minus 1 cube and there will be always constants in the numerator but in case that uh, q of x has irreducible quadratic factors irreducible quadratic factors uh, in which the, the discriminant is less than zero they have no real zeros so like x squared plus one we have to write bx plus c in the numerator of any irreducible uh, quadratic factor and we reach the last part in which there is a repeated irreducible quadratic factors in this case we do like what we did in repeated linear factors we write each one of them x squared plus one x squared plus one to the power two x squared plus one to the power three and we put degree one in this case uh, in the numerator so let us try to solve this uh, example uh, this is a rational function is it a proper, a proper or not proper well, uh, we need to see the degree of the numerator is 3. The degree of the denominator, we have x squared. When you raise it to the power 2, you will get x to the power 4 times x. So the degree of the denominator is 5. The degree of the numerator is 3. So this is a proper uh, rational function. So we immediately start by factoring the denominator but it's already written in the factored form x is a linear factor x squared plus one is an irreducible quadratic factor and it is raised to the power two so it's repeated so i write a over x the linear factor plus bx plus c the irreducible quadratic factor to the power 1 and then dx plus e over the irreducible quadratic factor to the power 2 and now we need to find the coefficients a b c d and e we know how to find a easily i replace x by 0 here in the left hand side without uh, without x here i remove it i erase it and i put x zero so i'll have one over zero plus one one to the power two is one so a is one that's good so let me now multiply by the lcd well the lcd is this one the main Uh, denominator x square plus one square okay multiply so i will have one minus x plus two x square minus x cube equals one times remove x so i will have x square plus one to the power two plus bx plus c times I have x square plus 1 so I'll have x and x square plus 1 
plus d x plus e x square plus one to the power two would be cancelled and i'll have just x now there are no real zeros except the zero and i know i've i used it to find a so now I will expand this. This is x to the power 4 plus 2x squared plus 1. And I'll take it to the other side. So I'll have negative x to the power 4, negative x cubed. Notice I have here 2x squared minus 2x squared would be canceled. Negative x, 1 minus 1 would be canceled. And I will have the following. B x plus c let me multiply this x times x square is x cube expanding i am trying to expand x cube plus x times one is x so this should be multiplied by bx plus c so bx times x cube would be bx to the power 4 bx times x would be bx square cx cube cx plus dx square plus ex now we compare the coefficients we can write it if you like bx to the power 4 plus cx cube and the coefficients of x square are b plus d and the coefficients of x we have cx plus ex so we can combine these like terms so now comparing the coefficients in the left hand side and the right hand side the coefficient of x to the power 4 in the left hand side is negative 1, so b is negative 1. The coefficient of x cube is also c, and in the left hand side, negative 1, so c is negative 1. b plus d would be the coefficient of x square, but the coefficient of x square in the left hand side is 0. But we know that b is negative 1, so negative 1 plus d is 0 which means d is 1. Now c plus e, the coefficient of x is equal to negative 1, the coefficient of x in the left-hand side. c is negative 1. So e would be negative 1 plus 1 or 0. So I have all the coefficients. So I can write i this integral as first I have 1 over x bx plus c well b is negative 1 and c is negative 1 so negative x minus 1 I can take the minus outside, but it's okay. This is the second partial fraction. The third partial fraction, d is 1. So I have x over and e is 0. So I just put the values of b, c, d, and e, and wrote the integral again. Now, what about the second integral? I have x squared. The derivative of x squared plus 1 is 2x. I need 2x here. So I will do the following. I will write it as integral 1 over x dx minus integral x over x squared plus 1 dx minus integral 1 over x squared plus 1. I distributed 
the numerator over the denominator and the last one as it is. So the first integral is easy. This is len absolute value of x. This is also easy because I have two here and half here. The derivative of x squared plus one is two x. So it would be half integral du over u len absolute value of u or x squared plus one. 1 over x squared plus 1, the integral is tan inverse x. The last integral, I take x squared plus 1 as u, and the derivative of x squared plus 1 is 2, so I need 2x there. So if I take u equals x squared plus 1, du would be 2x dx. And the last integral would be half times integral 2x dx, that's dx, that's du. And they have u squared here. So this would be u to the power negative 1 over negative 1. So the answer would be negative half or 1 over 2 over u to the power 1. And u is x squared plus 1. So this is the answer of this question. The last point in this section is to use rationalizing substitution. Here we take u, we take u equals to the root in the question, whether it's a square root or third root. And this will change the integral from this form maybe to partial fractions or to rational function. To rational function. Notice that we cannot solve this integral by usual substitution because the derivative of x plus 4 is, is not there. I have 1 over x below. So let us try to take u uh, square root of x plus 4. Take the square root equals to u. And now change the integral from x to u. So this root would be u. I need to find x and dx. So to find x, I raise both sides to the power 2. And then x is u squared minus 4. And I can find dx from here, find the derivative. dx would be derivative of u squared is 2u du, and the derivative of negative 4 is 0. So dx is 2u du. So now we get, we got rid of the root, and we change it to u. So I can take 2 outside, u times u is u square over u square minus 4 du. This is a rational function, but it's an improper rational function because the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator. So I need to use long division. u square over u square is 1. I change the signs and add, I get 4 as a remainder. So I can write this as 2 times, and this integral would be integral of 1, which is 1 times du, that's du, plus integral of 4 over u squared minus 4 du. And 4 over u squared minus 4 can be written as 4 over u minus 2 times u plus 2. And this would be equal to 
a over u minus 2 plus b over u plus 2. And I can find a easily if I remove this and replace u by 2. So 4 over 2 plus 2, 4, so a is 1. I can find b by erasing this and replacing u by negative 2. Negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4, so b is negative 1. So I can write this as 2 times integral du plus 2 times integral of 1 over u minus 2 du plus 2 or there is a minus because b is negative so minus 2 integral 1 over u plus 2 du so this integral 4 over u square minus 4 can be written 2 times it can be written like this and now I can find the answer integral of du is u integral of 1 over u minus 2 integral of 1 over u plus 2 and finally what was u it was square root of x plus 4 so you can plug in square root of x plus 4 and instead of u and that would be the answer if you want this is len over len you can take two square here Key keeping it like this is okay that's the final answer and i hope uh, you enjoyed partial uh, fractions